I'm married. And, here's a new opinion, it doesn't suck. Yeah, how fucking weird is that? I'm married and my marriage doesn't fucking suck. Woo! Every day we're inundated on television with stories about the doldrums of marriage, right? Every sitcom is some fat dickhead married to some smarmy bitch, right? And they just... Right? And every time I see a comic on stage, he's like, my old lady to interrupt sports games and takes me to Yankee Campbell and that, that, you know. And every time I say I'm married at a show, some asshole's like, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> my marriage doesn't suck. Why? Because I didn't marry a fucking bitch. That's why it doesn't suck. right there and guys stop marrying assholes and women and anybody stop fucking marrying dick faces like what's your fucking that'll make your life my wife does not interrupt sports i am a baseball nut i'm a rockies fucking fanatic my wife does not interrupt my baseball games with crafts or whatever other crap you hear women do right my wife does not tell me how to live or take me duvet cover shopping or tell me how to dress and nag the shit out of me while I'm driving. And why doesn't she? I'll tell you why she doesn't. Because if she does, Dave, I'm gonna fuck other people. what she can do and how to live her life and tell her that she's my old lady and fucking tell her who she can hang out with because if I do, she's gonna fuck other people. That's the way it works. We fucking pinky swore on this shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't get that. If you people are so unhappy in your marriages, why the fuck do you do it? If it's like, oh God, marriage, why the fuck? And you're all laughing. <laughs> Statistically, there's a lot of you in here that are unhappy. And you know who you are. You're leaning against your husband, or you're kissing, or you're like, that's not me. <laughs> but you're sitting underneath these flickering lights just praying for a stroke right now. You know who the fuck you are. My voice is reverberating into your ribcage and plucking at the strings of your discontent. You know who you are. If that's you, and you're miserable in your marriage, it's 2012, do me a favor, go home, grab your duffel bag, open it all the way up, put everything of importance inside of it, and fucking leave! Run! Your life is almost over, go out and be happy! Well, here's, here's the best part of the planet. Whatever you're into, dicks or pussies, whatever your thing is, when you leave the house tonight with your duffel bag and you walk out of the house, whatever your thing is, 50% of everybody on this planet has something you're looking for. Isn't that great fucking odds? And if you're bisexual, God fucking love you. 100% of everybody has something you're looking for. miserable goddamn culture. Go out and fuck. Watch your wife fuck. Do something fun. Go out and try shit. You guys are not dead yet. Go out and fucking be happy. Yeah, Ben, but she changed on me. I love the change. She changed. We got married and she fucking changed on me, bro. You ever hear somebody say that? But all of us on the outside can smell a divorce coming. We can see it. Really, she changed. That was the problem. I was around your wife for the first ten minutes after I met her, and I wanted to bury her up to her waist and throw rocks at her. <laughs> you guys were awful. I would. She just. I hate the sexless marriage. That's my least favorite. Thing. 
Oh, you, you got married? I love that. Every newlywed couple, oh, let's say goodbye to sex. <laughs> I'm not a newlywed. We've been together, we just passed 10 years. We have a seven year old son. We fuck all the time. not get blowjobs. Say goodbye to blowjobs. <laughs> nope. She still goes down on me. That's how I get up here and take on the world. I'm fucking powered by blowjobs. <laughs> I love guys that are like, well, lady doesn't go down on me anymore. It's always my buddy sitting like, oh, lady doesn't go down on me anymore. Yeah, well, look at ya. <laughs> Guys, you want your wives to start going down on you a bit more? Why don't you try trimming that matted drain clog of a bush you gotta bump your cock once in a while, huh? Maybe your wife doesn't want to go face to face with that lap yeti you've been carrying around. And while you're down there, do a crunch or two, just a thought, huh? They turn into these fucking... Everybody gets married and they turn into these oblong, mittened, peanut butter and jelly machine. I think Dancing with the Stars is on. <laughs> Why do you do that? Work on yourselves. You're not changing yourself. You're not selling yourself out if you try to make yourself appear a little more attractive every time. That and why... I hate this. Man, stop like this thing where guys talk about how women are clingy and want to cuddle, like that shit. Like, the after sex thing makes me, women always want to cuddle after sex. Men don't need, I don't know who the, who the fucking people. After we're done having sex, my wife does not want to come anywhere near me, right? But once in a while, she wants to cuddle. Do you cuddle, bro? Yeah, I do. Big fucking cuddler. I'm a big fucking cuddler. I love to fucking cuddle. Sometimes I'll be on the bus and I just cuddle the shit out of people I don't even fucking know. I'm always big spoon, so it's not creepy, but I fucking dig it. Why do you cuddle, bro? That's queer. I'll tell you why. Two reasons I cuddle, homophobe. Number one, I don't hate my wife. Number two reason I cuddle, and I'm sorry, it's the truth. She just drank four tablespoons of a liquid I grew in a sack, literally inches from my asshole, right? Made of a compact of all the garbage I eat throughout the day, right? And it's not like I fed it to her with a silver spoon or fucking dabbled little drops of it onto the bridge of her forehead from a bronze baby shoe of our first child. No, I fucking German Shepherd grunted and convulsed it onto her. How bad does that taste? I don't even like going up to the bar and getting a water and having it taste like a Sprite a little bit. How bad does this taste? Not to mention that women watch us all day grabbing and jostling and adjusting this thing, which means my wife didn't just put my dick in her mouth. She put every handshake and handrail and countertop I dragged by. Women, if you don't know it yet, a man's penis is the doorknob of his fucking body. Yeah, I can cuddle with you. 